Hey guys, welcome back to The Genius Life. Today I am talking to you about a topic that is dear to my heart, probiotics. <laughs> okay, so I was just on social media and I noticed a post from a pretty large YouTuber that made me realize how much of the, the masses is not really aware of what probiotics is and what it can do for our health. So first off the bat, Probiotics is a live bacteria that is found in our bodies. It is good bacteria and it is something that we can also take from sources such as sauerkraut or um, any type of fermented vegetable and we can use that to add on to the good bacteria that's already in our gut. Now when we have a lot of processed foods and sugars, we tend to imbalance the amount of good bacteria in our gut, such as bread or you know cakes and sweets, um, anything that is high in processed sugars or just sugars in general tend to lessen the good bacteria and heighten the bad bacteria. Now nowadays there are a lot of good bacteria, I'm sorry, there are a lot of probiotic drinks on the market such as kombucha. And and I've noticed that a lot of them are now flavored. Now guys, listen to me when I say this. Probiotics is something that needs to be taken as is. It's not something that you should be flavoring or you should be, I mean even if you flavor it, it's gotta be with something natural, like with a fruit or something like that, which still kind of combats the purpose because fruits have sugars. So basically, kombucha nowadays, sometimes you'll find it says organic cane sugar on the ingredients list. Well, cane sugar is a processed sugar. That's a bad bacteria. Probiotics, or kombucha, is good bacteria. So if you're ingesting good bacteria with cane sugar, which is a processed sugar or bad bacteria, you're just combating exactly what you're trying to get rid of or balance out. You're just making life harder for yourself. So make sure when you're looking at kombucha nowadays, if you're interested in buying stuff like that or if you just want to have sauerkraut, any type of probiotic or good bacteria that you're trying to ingest to increase the good bacteria in your, in your gut, you want to make sure that it is not flavored or at least not sweetened with processed sugars because that is just not helping at all. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that really quickly. I hope you guys are having a good Friday. As you guys know, we are gonna have a couple more videos coming up next week, tech talks, vlogs, and a Thanksgiving recipe series. So make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this whole kombucha thing. Do you drink the flavored kombuchas? Do you not? Why if you do? And now that you know what I just talked about, are you going to continue? So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment down below, subscribe, and Press that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload a new video. Alright, thanks guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!